It is Fanatic versus Blacklist, back not international. It's right. Back there. And the healing was a little bit lower. Armel has indeed dominated that uh, top. Ooh, Raven is just done so. Nice catch. That's going to be your first blood for DJ. So that little clockwork. Get himself some early boots. Oh, interesting. Isn't the con built to max out Spectral Dagger? Yeah. Ooh, that was a pretty little combo. Well, helping out Armel, hitting the cookie. That's done, lasting long enough for the Requiem Fear, and then a final raise to finish him up. But now you have this, like, sunk cost fallacy of, I've stayed in this bottom lane so long, I gotta take this tier one tower. But is that, is that really the best move to make for Centaur? The Stampede has only been used defensively until now. You haven't got any kills. Shadow Fiend could have been killed until now. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> All right, block the hook a little bit, but it's perfectly fine. They still have the kill. Goodbye to Carl. That was... I mean, they committed the promo split for this. They know Carl's important, too. What's that one mean? What's what? I need I need uh, education on the chat wheel. I, I'm not from the Philippines. <laughs> I don't know what you think I could read together. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest, uh, Abo. I uh, am not knowledgeable enough about languages to tell the difference. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's fair <laughs> enough. That's, yeah. And I think, obviously, level 15 is the big turning point for Fnatic, because presence affecting buildings allows you to actually, well, push. Right now, you don't really have much push. Now, should you now, be hitting Armel the tier 2 alone? doing this all by himself. Yeah. <laughs> now, he's going to get stomped. Again, the damage isn't that incredible from the Centaur, but just being there and having enough heroes rotate in ensures that Armel is going to die. At the same time, they we're making a move on mid, so we are going to essentially just trade out our mid laners, but I do think that uh, Armel's life was worth a little bit more. In fact, the numbers even support it. A great man once said, got to know when to hold him. Got to know when to fold him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh that's a poker reference. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to catch him again. Oh, no. He just TP'd out here. This time, there are going to be some rotations, but oh. are they going to be here in time? The Requiem, it goes out just in time. He turns around. Hold him, baby. Don't listen to Avo. Never fold. He did fold himself as he contorted to <laughs> throw the Requiem of Souls. I, I actually like it a lot. The ability you always have either... You have the options of either always cycle, having Cyclone available, which I, I'm glad that some people are using it. I think he's a hero that takes a while to actually learn to utilize properly, which is why it's not as common, and it takes a while for people to realize how good he is. AU gonna break a smoke here. He's got a four staff. I don't think he's making it out. Uh, he can make it a little bit more annoying, but uh, they will definitely have that kill. Gives everyone else the chance to be able to escape on the side of Blacklist rivalry. DJ is just targeting AU the whole time. You know, he, he know, he's the captain now, and he wants to make sure AU knows. Carl, can he actually trigger the Cinderbook? He does. Okay. KP, <laughs> he's okay to tank this. He has the pipe anyway, so he's fine. And, and there's DJ. Slides on in right on top of Carl with the kisses over the top. He got some really nice firepower to back up a hook shot. Yeah, that was super suave as well. Just okay, three more items. So we'll come back. Uh, everybody can take a Break. bit of breather here for 20 minutes. Um, and maybe we'll have a competitive game on their hands. Because right now it looks like Fnatic's just going to roll over Blacklist. As uh, they're trying to do that right now. The Bloodstone keeping him alive. Oh, no. DJ actually put himself at the cogs. I'm not sure if he exactly wanted that. But the Blade Mail is doing some serious work. Barely dies before they get the kill in the last track. A damn shame for DJ, but uh, not a shame for Gabby, who picks up the double kill and maybe even a third one here with the Brewmaster Ultimate. Slowing him down, kisses, throwing in some damage. The pipe is going to help out, though. Hey, you shouldn't die to this. I think that's it. You, you. Hey, he's a weaker horse form <laughs> of the Leshrac. <laughs> the dispersion of Blade Mill makes him look really weak right uh, now. Uh, well, oh, you know wow. who looks also very weak? Is this Hulk Warden. So he needs uh, travels, he needs the Glade Mill, which is just completed, and I'm assuming Axe. I actually don't know what you're going to do this game to be useful, though. Because again, the Axe, I mean, I guess you have to go Axe, because you need damage from somewhere. That I don't think this Hyth of Vice build is viable in this game. It's. They're just too weak. You definitely cannot deviate into Octarine Core this early. Last time we saw this Aghanim Scepter, they were not this far ahead yep. uh, on the Brewmaster. True. I can only imagine, once you, if you're ahead like this and you have an Aghanim Scepter on Brewmaster, how does the team ever get out on the map and not get caught? Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> Don't know what to answer that. AU's going to die. He's actually so ashamed by your comment that he'd rather die than listen to you right now.
I'm gonna see another fight cap. You know, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty good fight. The Arc Jetpack cool. breaking the smoke. Gabby, oh, immediately mancing off the Glyphnir. They're gonna have to use the Stampede to get away back inside their base, but uh, they do have a little tornado. It's gonna be a problem as RML's gonna set up right on top of that one. They can get the four Staff, a little bit of distance, but the Rays is coming in, and the Slows from the Kisses with the Cogs, bringing them both in. Carl's Bloodstone can only put up so much. Yes, Gabby dies, but it's a huge win for Fnatic inside of Blacklist base at 25 minutes. Go for four staff. That's when you know. That's when you know it's all. Oh, no. When Arc Gordon's going for a four staff and it's not like he's not leading in net worth, it's bad. No. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was a minor inconvenience. Got saved there by the cookie as well. Okay, he might they're die, coming actually. back. He might die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carl's here. How many four staffs you got? Four staff or four staff? KP getting some distance. Goes into the trees. Where is he going? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay, that was an interesting. Oh, you know, uh, actually, this makes sense. It's the Coriolis effect. Australians, they always go the opposite direction when they're running away. <laughs> Let him have the the extra stance. Let's give it a SF instead. Is it even fun to have more microing? No, no, no. It's, no. The panda is honestly the most useless panda I've ever seen. It's a garbage panda, but the stance. 80% oh, yeah, stat resist with, with the beer. Resistance, oh, okay. Yeah, and the slow, that's really good. <laughs> oh my god. That Arc Warden is dead. I'm actually okay. <laughs> that is a uh, good use for the line. Yeah. Is that a cyclone for the Lesh? Yep. Yeah. That's another way to deal with Lesh as well, just cycling him and ignore him. Oh, nice him. stomp. Follow up, split Earth. Can't actually go for KP. They can't burst him down fast enough to prevent his uh, ultimate from going off. That drunken brawler on on 80% uh, magic resist. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, they aggressively force staff Armel in. A defensive force staff from Armel pushes him over to the side into Cookie. Cookie. Gets him back. They should be able to take away this Aegis, though. Faithful will finally finish it off. Second line for the ESF. They jump in with the hook shot with Gabby immediately following that up. They do manage to get the kill on the Rubik and perhaps <laughs> AU as well. Oh, force staff into the fountain. All right, we're good. GG is called, though. And, uh... Yeah, that was a very one-sided game, Mavo. Yeah, I mean, you can tell by the fact there's no excitement in the, the Fnatic's uh, house as well. Oh, KP, oh, KP was pretty happy. KP was pretty satisfied with the performance. See how much effort they put into just a decoy carry? They don't even know. They're falling into the enemy's trap. <laughs> These fools. Uh, yeah, actually, I was looking at KP's, uh, oh, actually, AU. He's gonna die there, too. KP, I'm pretty sure. Just one more hit. There we go. It's gonna be DJ who takes the kill. Uh, K KB's been playing a lot of offlane Marcy, so I looked into his like builds and everything, and actually, he has a huge win rate. But that's gonna take a while, so possibly should take advantage of this early. I would expect them to get a kill on the draw by now, though. They would have a Marana Dragon Knight. I don't... I'm not really sure why that combo hasn't succeeded. Well, they... Should they ever really be able to get in melee range <laughs> of the drought? Who's <laughs> running at him? There we go, that's gonna succeed now, right? Yeah, yeah, they got him because the Tusk has not been here. Right, so that was what was stopping them. Tusk kept blocking the arrow. Yeah. Then well do his roll. But you don't get the extra damage on snap. No, you don't get the extra damage on the Shredder, but it's still a nice combo. Yeah, I can see Loves that. Loves RC to... Her physical damage should be all the stronger. Oh, Raven? I think he could be in trouble. Yeah, I think he's dead. You're just gonna Raven be able to burst him down pretty quickly. <laughs> the game's over. We got you. <laughs> we'll call the kills for you. <laughs> this lead is just destroying this lane. Yeah. Nope. Oh, not oh. terribly surprising. That was oh, that fantastic. cookie had landed, and it would have been so sweet, but the Laguna Blade comes in and finish him off anyway. He's like, you miss every single skill shot, doesn't matter, you got minus yeah. armor, plus Lino, who cares? Yeah, just right click him some more. Oh my god. I don't think this is what Puck is supposed to be able to do. Tusk might die though, there's a leap charge, he should die, unless... It's not. the LSA on him though. Tim's has a leap charge himself. What is he and doing? actually somehow painted the tusk into snowballing Ooh. after him. What? <laughs> All right. Maybe he thought he was out of leap charges. That had to be it. I had a couple of questions there. First of all, why did DJ not use Cookie instead of the... the is Gabby dead bottom lane? It's looking like it. Oh, Sprout didn't quite get in front of him, but the Treants will. Good body blocking and... Uh, Look at how well this decoy carry strategy is working. Gabby's a low on net worth. They've committed a lot of resources, but Armel... Oh. There's no pressure right now. Yeah, it's pretty chill times. 
I mean, <laughs> they're going to put both their supports up here. Armel okay. is bottom. Oh. Snowball is going to catch up the Bosco here. Oh, KP should Gabby. be able to hop off. And, um, oh, that level one range of rebound. Just a little bit too short. Quickly grabs AU and tried to toss him into a position, but something weird happened there, and he, he had the angle all wrong. Meanwhile, Gabby's going to be run down. They didn't need Raven in the bottom lane, so he comes mid. Gabby dies. <laughs> Feels like we scripted this game at this point. <laughs> or Winter did, actually. He's the real director here. They're just avoiding our Mel entirely. I don't know if this strategy's gonna work, though, because the lead is still doing decently. The spells used. KP, stuck inside the cogs and the shards, but uh, he's dead. He's just dead. And AU is not gonna die so easily. The snowball might be able to catch up and finish him off, but now it's just put Jen well in an awkward position where uh, Carl should be able to collect thanks to that double damage run. And Gabby's gonna die in mid lane again. The tree is getting in front of him. Oh no, 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 no. This is not how it's supposed to go for Fnatic. That requires a couple of towers to get a bit of extra gold. There's a smoke coming as well, Cup. Yeah, they get the tower, but are they going to get out with their lives intact? It's, well, actually, the arrow got blocked out there, plus the cookie. They can help things out a little bit. Now, Carl should be able to catch up and get some really nice coil action here. Oh, with just the prettiest hook shot coil you've ever seen in your life. AU may have got himself killed in that situation, but he locked down a lot of heroes. Unfortunately, no damage left on the side of Blacklist. Now, maybe there's some reinforcements coming in through with Raven, Sprout. Not quite good enough, but Carl will be able to collect in the end. And Gunwell is pretty low. Bosco actually is going to go for the Gabby kill instead. Dragon Tail first. Once again, the Treants get in front. Raven doing a great job body blocking with him, but let him slide this time. Gabby gets away. Maybe KP fulfills that role instead once the BKB is up. I mean, they're also just losing so much map. Maybe they felt like they just needed to sure. fight back a little bit. That was also the idea. But he just walked in and out, right? Because he knew he wasn't strong enough. Okay, Armel, there's a blink dagger now. Yeah, he's going to get 100 to 0. The kisses. Trying to get some damage in. Didn't really land too much. Maybe they'll get AU. Gabby will be able to get that one. Snowball actually oh. chasing after the puck with the immediate gust. Now, Gabby is going to die for this as he did get Dragon Tail to Arrow. KP's trying to make his way out. Arrow slips right on by. KP able to. Uh, Barely evade death. <laughs> this is the longest ancient. Is he even has the help of a support to farm? Yeah. KP, get the last dragon. Getting the opening on Armel. <laughs> they, they like KP and DJ are like, oh, maybe we can get. No, no, it's everybody from Blacklist. They are all here. They're actually far enough behind that I don't think that was an option. Yep, I know, I completely agree. Okay, BKB though. BKB. First point of inflection on KP. This could be a big deal, right? Oh, and they do have high ground. A sentry out on the ground, so they see this rotation coming. They're gonna blow up the clockwork right away. But the jump in has already caught Armel, and they're gonna try and keep him chained on real quickly. Armel throws whatever damage he can, but it's not gonna be good enough. KP trying to lay into Raven, actually with the help of Gabby. Yeah. He will be able to kill him. Gabby, though, has been caught by AU. Bosku throws down the dragon tail. Not sure which one to go for. Alright, they turn back for the draw ranger. Quickly kill him. Carl just dumping out. <laughs> Oodles of damage. <laughs> Couldn't snowball over his own shard, sadly. Tim's makes sure of that one. Carl will collect all four kills in that fight. He is a very happy boy. You know how to kill the DK, obey Puck with a good gust? Well, he's got Yules, so you actually have to hit stuns. Right. The puck. Okay. Well. All right. The smoke does go out while they're doing Roshan, but Carl is just beautifully positioned. It's already oh, wow. killed the Tusk. Just wow. flat out the round of nukes, and now they've got the Dragon Tail onto Armel. They have a little cookie to help out here. Looks like an arrow nabbed Gabby, so Gabby is going to be dying first, despite Armel being the one to be initiated on. KP using his ultimate to try and kill a clockwork, which he can't even keep up with. The kisses. Oh, it's not even going to finish off the clockwork. Okay. okay, he burned out. Thankfully, he burned out in the, the fire and the flames there. Yep. You know, if Blacklist Rivalry win this game, they'll be the team with the most success against Lena in this DPC. Bosco is the bane of Lena. Look at KP fully utilizing all his knowledge to escape after farming two creeps. Look at it, they, 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 like, 
They show some heroes top lane. They know immediately Fnatic are going to try and push out bottom. Uh, that was crazy. And... Why would not be yeah, even for TPs? Well, he, probably because he saw Hero's top lane, so he probably didn't think it was going to be more than just a Nature's Prophet here. Okay. Not the case. All right, there's the full out Gleipnir with still another three minutes to work with the Aegis. And KP uses BKB nope. earlier, which means... Did he have vision over KP? He has no escape now. I think he just... Did he just guess where he was going, right? Yeah. Because he summoned the creep wave. Yeah, he's got pretty big AoE. Ooh, four yeah. staff ahead of the hookshot. That's my favorite aspect of Gleipnir. You can hit heroes out of vision, which Atos can't. That is true because it's a single target ability. Yeah, correct. exactly. Yeah. Gabby's dead. DJ and the two supports. Uh, yeah, they're both going to die as well. <laughs> Blacklist is just going to roll and over. Blacklist them. rivalry is going to roll over them. True. Yes, yes, yes. I think Bosco as well, is, is, now that he's got the Heaven's Hobbit, can finally commit to his own build of getting the eggs. He sh should be able to kill him, but it's a little bit hard. Oh no, this rotation is actually going to go all oh right. Oh my god. They just will, they slipped past Bosco, and Bosco just went straight for the throat and killed Armel instead. Armel thought he was baiting for his team. So like, you know, they were making moves. So we should come back to fight now. Ina's alive, everybody. Fortunately, it's too late for the uh, melee barracks. Armel. Oh, the arrow. Oh, no. Right as he casts it, that LSA. So he's in vision, which immediately Bosku takes advantage of. Gentford gets the Dragon Tail. Not quite good enough, though, because the kisses plus the hook shot did a decent amount. Blacklist are still fighting for it, though, as Armel is going to get burned down pretty quickly. Raven is just too powerful. Too much damage in those right clicks, and uh, he's still at an A just to, to pull through, which is actually not going to get its regen valued out of, thanks to that multi shot from Gabby. Yeah, it's true. From 4 to 6 p.m. Yeah. Never ordered a grab at that time, though. <laughs> Takes forever. Yeah. Okay, match. Dragon Tail, Arrow, Cookie, pushing him into the blacklist. <laughs> Go deeper, my friend. Go, my child. They have given up. They, they have given up on trying to play this game right now. Oh, sometimes you want to you wanna feed while you feed, you know? Uh, you feed him a cookie, and you feed them a tusk. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the cycle of life. I heard of drink oil as well, and I drink yeah, kills the lane. You won the lane, I win the game. Blacklist rivalry just destroyed Cuckoo. Oh my god, I've never seen Cuckoo so emotionless. Yeah, that's uh, that says something. That's a game two for you. You know, you lose game one, bounce back like this. Have yep. this kind of game in game two. Series is wide open. Here, staying up for the best Dota, and then also Blacklist Rivalry versus Fnatic. Junwell are gonna try and sneak around or not, or maybe they're just gonna give this up. They see too many heroes. They're like, okay, not that, but maybe when they come oh. down to try and go the, to the lane, maybe that's when they go ahead and pick up their Ooh. first blood. The orc's gonna go out. It's not gonna land on Tim's, but the hits might be able to finish him off and get first blood to exactly who they wanted to go to. It goes to Armel. AU, he'll do, do what he can. They're gonna be able to get three bounty runes. And he's not gonna he, go he had a lot of magic wand charges, so he's gonna go straight to a top lane push. <laughs> trying to catch KP. Dragon Tail buys him a little bit of space, but AU nice. will keep him inside of the cogs for now. Trying to get some side blade angles. It's really important being able to kill a Dragonite, get through that armor. The Sprout will block him in just long enough. Blacklist bringing all of their heroes up to the top lane to ensure a kill on the Dragonite. Just a little bit more damage from that Wrath of Nature. It would have been a massive kill, but still, even just forcing back the puck. Huge. And now Bosku's actually liberated to do what he wants to do, which is push, but it's the mid lane instead. Nice hook shot. Do they have the detection? They do. Oh, play by Blacklist Rivalry. Yeah, very nice. They don't quite finish off the mid tower, but they get it low enough that uh, Nature's Prophet can get it any time. They're going to trade out Tim, <laughs> but. <laughs> don't you dare come close to me. <laughs> don't lead them to where I yeah. am. Uh, the Shadow Fiend, of course, is as well, and they're going to be okay with each other, but Raven should be getting online earlier. <laughs> they found the rat. <laughs> Somebody was skulking around in the shadows down here. Blacklist uh, rivalry do own this entire area. Carl found an Invis rune. He's going to use it to make sure he gets out. Arrow is still going to land. Detection, detection. They can kill AU, but they will not be able to kill Carl. And Carl is actually going to jump in with a beautiful nice. toss. That was really nice. 
Bro, Carl is really, really having a good game now. Yeah, he is. That first game was a little bad for them, but now I think they, they, they're fully on it. It's hard to judge last game because, yeah. But uh, this time, I, I really like what they're doing. I think Fnatic is doing... Oh, they're going to fight Buck again. Once again, Armel will survive. So he'll probably have to uh, take a dip back to the base. If he doesn't go soon, his uh, TP is coming up. He's going to coil. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, he actually still got tossed. Oh, no. Oh, he hit him in the trees, but they wow. tossed the tree at him. Carl, he must have just been spamming that stop button. Wow, Carl. Where the ancients love. The land of the ancients. Yo, I like that. I like that. Are you a voice the actor? Islands. By perchance? Am I, am I a what? A voice actor. I think you'd be great at it, Cap. Thanks. I thought so, too. Carl on two, with the SF coming in. Requiem, fear him out of the coil. It's gonna be a nice combination. Nice, nice, nice. Tiny's already dead. AU limping on HP will also die. And KP, there you go. Sleeping dart, hang around. Should be able to get the dragon tail. And Tim's will fall as well. Not Three okay. dead. Fnatic striking back. I gotta respect this. Uh, Richie talked about this during the talent game, and I think he's, there's, there's something somewhat happening here. And nobody's the there. The off lane jungle. No. No, that one, that one's forced. There are things lurking uh, in this they, high ground. With the last run into the dragon form, KP is going to try and force it. He's got BKB, so he wants to make himself a target. Look at Raven, though. Yep. He's hi hidden behind a tree, so even if they have sentry, they may not be able to see him here. There's a whole shot. There's the initiation. They blow up the Ricky nice and quick, and the puck is dead as well. Oh, the shard TA traps end up being the doom of the puck and now kp is gonna have to use that bkb just not the way he wanted it's on retreat rather than aggressing <laughs> no aggressing is exiting and we saw from the last team fight how yeah, yeah. bad the ta traps can be for fanatic i agree i agree it also would give them control they're really desiring here oh there we go dart where's their arrow moran is too far away oh no Dragon. That is not what they wanted. Immediately going to be ensnared up for a second there. They're really focusing on this clockwork when I don't think they need to. I think they just wanted to take any fight with this double damage from Gabby. Arrow? Oh, oh Carl got off the BKB, and now the SF has been caught by the hook. The physical damage is going to overwhelm Gabby. Maybe he can get off the Requiem, and he does, but it doesn't do a damn thing against all these BKBs from Blacklist rivalry. Wow. Fnatic now on their treat. Cookie trying to catch up. And well, oh, he only has a little bit more time. The dust is going to wear out eventually, but he's stuck. Bosku is going to make sure he does die. They're going to check inside the pit. Oh, it's a late Roshan, so they can't immediately take the prize for a one team fight. I think he's just here to break people's ankles. That's the only goal of Bosco has his DPC. Oh, that was greedy. Sticking around, trying to push one more wave, see if they can get a pick off, but instead, a Blacklist rivalry come in force to put down KP. You know what, Cap? After his performance, I think I'm going to start picking Veno off like. Sanky like Kemp. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. All right, that's going to be a uh, Aegis and Shard. Nope, that. Unless Fnatic. Oh. Okay, they're going to be stopping the Nature's Wrath, and Carl is going to stop him by killing him flat out. They're going to have to use some buybacks, but it's going to be too late. This fight is already over. Get out if you can. Armel. Oh, no, the silence, the silence. It wow. catches him again. He immediately buys back, though. He wants to keep this going. But can they actually do anything for it? They've spotted the Fury on. They get the coil onto him. Once again, a Glimmer Cape trying to help out. Gabby forced down to low ground. He gets the Requiem off. They're doing everything they can to blow up Bosku. How much damage? Jesus, he was taking everything. And now Raven just had the free fight. He was like, okay, I got a double damage. I'm going to lay into the SF. Now see if they can catch the puck as well. Cookie timed. Not bad, but doesn't get it in the end. Uh, Armel. No way to escape. So they lost that fight with buybacks involved. They still give up Roshan to Blacklist rivalry. This game just became very one-sided, Avo. Yep. I don't think you can wait for the level 25 on Puck this game. But if you can just get rid of, like, one of the heroes. I don't even think you need the arrow combo. Just sleep dart them at the beginning of the fight. And hit the... And force maybe a BKB or two to defend them. Or force them trying to block them. Okay. If your Puck dies... <laughs> My, uh, my bro, don't do priest. that, bro, please. Yeah. I had to check for a second to make sure he didn't take the other level 20 talent was, like, trolling and, and tossing them back into their own base.
Okay, that's, I don't think it matters because you just destroy this tower. This is why he's going for the moon shark. Yeah, TA tiny. Oh my god. You got god. The big building killers. Once again, they're going to get the arrow combo he's fine. on the tiny. Kisses? Short range kisses just to force him away. Get out of my teammates. That's it. Full lane of barracks. Otherwise, I'm quoted there is only a 100% chance this team will win, so I am doing my best to keep as neutral as possible. Oh, yeah, didn't you say Fnatic? I actually have no clue what I said if I'm honest with you. I'm not even trolling. Uh, understandable. <laughs> it's your ninth game of the day. KP is done so. And they're going to get even more with the Sprout catching Gabby. Perfect. Gabby has to turn and fight, but he doesn't even have a Requiem, so never mind. He's going to use the Silver Edge to try and escape. The supports will die, or at least one of them. Bye bye, Ricky. Bye bye, Ricky, indeed. Blacklist Fiverr is now knocking on your doorstep. And they have two incredible pushers. In addition, they just profit. He's not even considered part of the great pushing lineup because Titan is so absurd. And they can't even wait. Oh they have to go and fight. These buildings are He's dying silenced. far too fast. And again, the shard is ruining Puck. Oak shot, a little bit off the mark, but it doesn't matter. No. GG is called because uh, they cannot stand against Blacklist rivalry any longer. 2-1 for Blacklist and Fnatic. What's their series overall score now? Uh, I think... Uh, I know they've lost two or three. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. They've too. won was zero. Like, they lost three series. Might have been. Might have been. That is rough.